Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is the 26th of June, 2023. We're going to talk about Tesla today because we did a price prediction already on the chart. And we're trying to figure out, OK, is Tesla crowned the stock to buy right now in the stock market? You guys can see that we are looking for Tesla to go up. But the last what two days, we did receive an indicator of weakness, which is something that we don't want to see. If you're looking for the market to go higher, we got that up fake bar right here in Tesla on the 21st of June. Okay, so yes, there's some people in the market in Tesla that's trying to take some profit, rightfully so, because that's the name of the game, is to come through and take profit when you have it. Should we do the same? Should we continue to go forward with our prior analysis and looking for Tesla to continue to go higher? Because this has been a fantastic run into the market of Tesla. Like, look at that. Very good run into the market of Tesla ever since mid-May. All the way until the 21st of June, this market ran 66% already. So I'm not surprised to see this up fake, this indicator of weakness right there on the 21st of June. I'm not surprised. When you see a market run 66% in a couple of weeks, yeah, people will begin to take profit. Now, in order for us to really see this market in Tesla continue to go higher, the market still needs to be a little bit more greedy. We need to have more market participation of individuals who think that Tesla is still cheap and that price is going to go higher. Take a look at Tesla real quick on the two day chart. OK, so we have eight hours and 54 minutes left on this current two day price bar. And there is still some indication of people taking profit. Here it is on the three. Again, this is where sellers are coming into the market to Tesla, something that we need to keep our eyes open on if we're going to maintain that Tesla is still the king of the stock market right now here it is on the five we have eight hours and 54 minutes left and again i'm here to tell you that it does look as if tesla is becoming more weaker maybe the king is getting hit and going through war and battle and right now is taking some major hits because there's definitely selling coming in the market in tesla look at this on the weekly chart okay we were able to see price in Tesla hit that $280 area. I'm not exactly sure where my targets were. Again, I recommend that you go back and see my prior video to get those targets to see what I was talking about. But we almost ran up there, hit that 280 on last week. High was 276.99, pretty close. I think you guys can see why Tesla did not go above 280. Okay, here it is on the two weeks. We got two consecutive indicators of strength right there in Tesla. Currently, we're getting the sellers. We still have what, four days and nine hours left. So anything can happen on this current two wiki price bar. But it's just something I wanna to bring to your attention. Even here in the three weeks. Okay, so from a timing perspective, I would say that from two weeks, three weeks, there's definitely strength here in the market in Tesla, but on a shorter time frame, five days, three days daily, uh, there's definitely some sellers coming in right now. Okay, here it is on the five. Take a look at this on the monthly. And then let me show you all the six months chart. Okay. So right here in Tesla on the six month price bar, this was definitely massively weak, massively weak. And then we saw the market run back up to where we almost previously started on the first six months. We started in July, 2022. Okay. So four year has literally gone by since this six months has completed for a year in total. And now we're coming right back up in Tesla. Now the sad part is that we would like to have seen this spread on this current six months price bar come all the way up there to 320. As you guys can see that there's not that much juice in the market in Tesla there, okay? So on the move to the downside, over the next six months, whenever the sellers come back into the market in Tesla, 
we don't want to see it fall below 200 if we see the price in tesla fall below 200 again then you guys can tell here on my arrows that that market in tesla may come and test these gaps okay don't think that i forgot about those gaps in tesla but we'll talk once that moment happens okay so as of right now i'm not going to change my price prediction i'm going to keep it the same i just wanted to bring to your attention that yes sellers are coming into the market now in tesla on the daily time frame and now it's going to be dependent on how fast buyers enter and hold price if the buyers don't show up on the daily time frame then the strength that we're seeing on the weekly time frame it's going to be negated it's going to be pointless because we're seeing sellers on the shorter time frame buyers needs to show up now on the shorter time frame in order for the weekly time frame to be even more relevant so we'll keep our eyes open we'll see give me your thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different